Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Today it's the project some of you have probably been waiting on for months. Going, Brian, when are you gonna get this done? It's the John Doe Shaper from the Backyard Machine Shop. You may remember Mike Wiggins dropped this off back here uh, end of May, thereabouts, uh, to get remachined. Uh, this machine is going in a museum from what I understand later on when we get done with it. And uh, it needs some attention and love. The ramways up here on the top are out 15 thousandths or something like that, I think he said. So I'm setting this up to uh, do a cleanup on basically all the way around and we're gonna uh, try and get this machine back in tip top working order, at least as good as it ever was. I don't see any signs of scraping marks or anything on this from original. I'm going to say it was all just as milled, and that was good enough for what they were doing with it. This machine sometime from the 1800s, I think, late 1800s. Uh, some people have asked about setups, so I'm kind of going to show you some on this one, because this one's probably a little more interesting than a lot of them what I do. Let me get you over here, and we'll take a look. So to start with is a standard order of business for me. I got my stop blocks in there to butt this up against. We've got a decent machine surface still here where these bars go on top of the ways. They are uh, not worn because nothing runs on that. All the wear is in here. You can see you know, there's quite a bit of wear right there. You can feel it pretty good with your finger, especially on this side. Not so much on that side, doesn't look like all the castings. Uh, got a big cavity in it there. Nice to hold lube. Anyway, uh, I'm hoping that I'm gonna machine the base on this. We'll take a look at that in a minute because it's uh, it was never anything done with. It's totally rough, uh, not even level, even or anything. So my goal is to try and get it uh, pretty close to square and perpendicular to this face. I uh, don't know how true that is. I don't know how square this is with the world. Uh, I could try to measure it with uh, my square. Let me see if I can find it. to set this up off of the original machined face that the table runs against. This, that's the machine surface, so I've got that with the hopes that this will be square. As far as how that goes square, it looks pretty good. Uh, you can see the gap. It's pretty even. And when I push it up, looks good. Say that that way it doesn't look terribly bad either. As far as just using my Starrett square, my 24 inch, it's about as good a square as I've got. I don't have anything better. Well, to uh, show how this is, I got up, pushed up here my square. This is a thou and a half filler gauge. Won't go in down there. And it won't really go in up there. It uh, pushes it over. You can get it under, but it's just tipping it out. If I hold it up against it and check it, it's within less than that. And I think this square is actually uh, a little less than a 90 degree because when I check this side and check this side I get the same gap at the top on both sides so I believe that the right angle is actually less than 90 so it doesn't indicate just exactly right but you know it's not designed to be a precision square to that degree uh, two foot so but it's all I got so it's what we'll use where that is but you can see we're zero on the table and zero stuck to the face. So 
According to that, it's 90 anyway. It does work. So let's take a look at the bottom of this casting. This is a glorious piece. You can see the, the parting line there. Nothing whatsoever done to it. It's kind of got like a foot there, or maybe it's just a lump, I don't know. It's got a hump there at the parting line. Uh, again, doesn't look like any sort of finish work went on this side at all. I don't know what they did, if they just threw it up on some boards or what they considered for that to be. Looked like it would have been made it hard to work with this thing, but uh, that's the way they did it. But uh, that's not how I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and get all this milled to uh, a decent something to start with. And then hopefully I'll be able to flip this upright, square it up. Uh, bolt it down and uh, do the rest. Showing 83, 4 there or something. I'm sure y'all can barely see it, but uh, I think I'm pretty straight, so we get a milling cutter in here and we'll see if we can't knock his bottom flat.
almost a quarter inch to that hump. Well, that's it. It's got it machined all the way around. And I come in here and relieve this a little bit where it was high right here to be sure it's not touching the table before this out here is. So I guess the next thing to do is to get this thing stood up on the table and see how close to square I got it. Then I can start working on the important parts. So I think that's going to be it for this section. Uh, stay tuned as we do more work on this and try and get this thing squared up. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch you later.